Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Electronic Harassment Parent Coalition of Palm Springs, California. I wanted just to say thank you for um, the attention you've been giving the blog last couple of weeks. I'm really happy with it. Um, and today's postings are all about Lisa is just dying to tell your story her way. Um, today's blog post is all about um, you know, having to live with the fact that there's a, you know, spy in your life and her intentions and her friend's intentions are nothing short of, you know, keeping you from being the person that you are. And, you know, I've, I've lived with this now for hmm, about 30 years. And, um, you know, I wonder, even though I've had a lot of successes, uh, how many more successes I would have had had it not been for um, this person trying at every level to get involved in my life. And, you know, I, I wonder uh, just how much she was involved. And there's a lot of things that I think about in the past that, um, you know, didn't seem quite right or didn't go quite the way they should have or people found out things that they shouldn't have. And I'm now wondering, you know, how much uh, influence she had over that. Um, I have no regrets. I mean, I'm not going to ever say that I regret anything that I've ever done, um, although I'm sure it is uh, her intention on some level at least to suggest that the reason that she did this to me was for something that I had done to her, which is completely not true. Um, I want to, everybody to understand that um, this project found me. It's not something that I ever would have done on my own. Um, until it affected me to the point where I had no choice and I um, I just wanted to let everybody know that it's uh, it's very hard sometimes to stay motivated with this project knowing that you know if one brick falls out of place for this girl and her brother that the entire you know mansion comes falling down or shack or whatever you want to call it that they live in but um, you know I had to live with um, her following me around, making me homeless, stealing my money, stealing all of my clothing and all of my belongings. I had to sleep in a trash container one night. Uh, in LA, I had to sleep in my car three nights. I've been um, swung on and I've been um, pushed around and I've been lied about and arrested and uh, falsely accused. and. Um, now, you know, things are better because I had to really go, you know, downsize and, and in terms of that, I had to, you know, get rid of a lot of people that I cared about. I can't go really around people that I do like, um, because this girl will do whatever she can to try to get into their lives and hurt them. And it's a sacrifice and, and it's something that I want everybody to know that even though I, um, put a lot of stuff on the blog, I still am keeping a journal like I used to keep and there are at least five or six of them um, over the years about what this is really like and um, this is the one that I keep now in case it goes missing it's just a Marvel comic uh, journal and you can see that I still am, am writing in it oops hang on still am keeping up and writing in it all the time I don't do it all the time because it's you know it's hard to keep your energy level up for this project when you know there's so much more that needs to be done and it's a very long process. So um, today is all about how Lisa is more than willing to tell your story for you if you're not willing to speak out for yourself. And generally, it's always bad when it comes to me and it's usually not so good when it comes to my friends. And the blog post today will point out several examples of um, her making this story fit her purposes and trying to uh, pit Jonathan against his family and Anthony against me and Christopher against the police and you know it's just it's just a bunch of um, nonsense um, for too long this girl had the ear of too many people that were listening to the wrong information and what she doesn't like about me is that I found a place where I can put you know, at least my story front and center so that at least, you know, people aren't hearing bits and pieces of my life through her mouth and, uh, 
you know, coming out like some kind of a bandit or something. I am certainly um, a person who has been through a lot. And uh, I certainly think that um, although I don't think I'm entitled to anything, I certainly do think that I deserve uh, consideration for the kind of work that I did for this police department and for all of my friends. And I think it would be wrong to uh, have an expectation and a resentment against people for not doing the right things. But at the same time, you know, if I don't put this blog together, a lot of these people wouldn't have, you know, jobs and wouldn't have um, hope and they wouldn't have opportunity to do different things in their lives because this girl will take it from you. She'll take everything that you've got. And then after she's taken everything that you have, she'll try to put you in jail to keep you from finding it. And I just want to let everybody know that, you know, sometimes I do get tired and it is a hard project and it's a long one. And I, you know, put in for this a long time ago. Um, so I can't stop. But um, at this point, if I stopped, she would never stop bothering me for the rest of my life. And she would do anything and everything she could to pay me back for taking away what she thought was um, entitled to her, which was... Um, the private lives of gay men and women in Palm Springs and the police department that she has a stranglehold over. And if you don't think she has a stranglehold on them, you're crazy. Um, a, a person can get raped, report it, and nothing can happen and nobody does anything about it. You know, they can film child pornography movies uh, a block away from the police headquarters and you can give them witnesses that can tell them all about it and nothing happens. Um, you know, an innocent man can be put in jail from a lie and the lie can even be posted online and nothing happens. So if you think that it's easy to be an electronically harassed man in Palm Springs, um, think again, because it's really, really difficult when you're dealing with a girl that's had 20 years of experience at lying. And uh, I've had to learn to be tougher, smarter and a lot more aggressive in my passive aggressiveness. Um, and I do have to be passive aggressive because at this point there still is no sign that anybody is looking into the lies that were told by the county of Riverside and the city of La Quinta about me to keep me from doing the job of protecting my friends and family. And I don't think anybody should have to go through uh, the kind of um, pain and suffering that I've gone through trying to, you know, keep my friends from being hurt. So I just want everybody to know that this is not National Feel Sorry for Kevin Day. This is just another one of these things that I have to tell you is very difficult. Um, I try harder than anybody in this world to, you know, point out who this person is without having to say who she is. Um, because when I said who she was before or intimated that it was somebody I got hit with a warrant from a really overzealous district attorney who never even bothered to listen to my story or tell me that she issued a warrant. And, uh, you know, you're dealing with a bunch of police officers that hear the same voices that you do, and they can't believe that even though they would stick these devices in our heads and not get a consent from us, that this person wouldn't go further to do something even more devious. So I just want everybody to understand that, you know, everybody has their days, up days, down days, you know, sideways days. And today I just wanted to post something that I think is important. Yesterday's posts I think were some of the best that I've ever done. And I think tonight's is a really a good post as well. So everybody take care. I've got a couple of days off coming up. I've got to be in Palm Springs on, I think, Friday. So if the police are ready to arrest me, go right ahead and uh, we'll take our chances in court. Other than that, I will talk to you guys later, and uh, have a good night. Love you, Christopher.